Hey everyone, so I hope you all are doing great. Today we will be discussing regarding the Glogel's rule. Before this, we have done with the Bergman's rule as well as Alleyne's rules, and today's topic of discussion will be regarding the Glogel's rule. So these rules are from the ecology. That means, like in our ecosystem, there are some rules. Depending upon that, we used to see different kind of structures, extremities, different face color, as well as a uh, different kind of body size okay and the whole concept will be regarding the ecology rule so let's begin with the introductory portion of glogger's rule so the glogger's rule is an uh, eco geographical rule which state that within a species of endotherms more pigmented form tend to be found in more humid condition that is near the equator so first of all like i think most of us we are already familiar with the term that is the endotherm that means those kind of organism which used to maintain their body heat with the help of different metabolic processes okay so in endotherm like there is a indication that according to the glogger's rule the organisms which are living near the equator they are going to have a pigmented form as compared to those organisms which are like which we will found near the pole area so that is what mentioned in the second line also that is the glogger should state that birds and mammals should be darker in the humid and warm environment compared to the colder and the drier area so according to the glogger rule the birds and mammals which used to belong from a humid condition as well as the warm condition they are going to have a pigmented skin or you can say that the pigmented appearance or form and if we like compare them with those kind of organisms which we will found in colder area so they are going to have a less pigmented form okay so this is very simple that the organisms which are living in a drier condition or the warm condition they will have a dark pigmentation skin and the organisms or humans who are living near the polar area or the colder area they are going to have a less pigmented skin as compared to those organisms which are living in a humid condition as well as the warm condition so this concept was given by the geologist glogger and this was came in existence in 1833 so in the last line it has been mentioned that is among mammals equator and tropical region population have a darker skin color than the pole population in fact like we can easily able to detect this in a real scenario also that the person or a individual who are belonging from a polar area or the colder area they are going to have a less pigmented skin as compared to those person or those individual which are living in a drier and humid condition that is mainly the warmer condition or warmer environment in front of you there is a representation of glogger's rule or you can say that some pictures are there which is going to support the glogger's rule like whatever the organisms which you are seeing in this particular picture they are indicating that they are belonging from a warmer and humid condition okay whether it may be a cat elephant owl or bird all are belonging from a warmer area and that is why they are having a dark uh, darker pigmentation and if we compare the same organism uh, that if they are belonging from a polar area or the cold area obviously they will have a lighter pigmentation so in front of you there is a example in case of a human beings that is the population that evolve in a sunnier environment which is closer to the equator tend to be darker pigmented than the population which is originating distant from the equator but existence of exceptional cases so the individuals which are belonging from a area where there is a like very high intensity of sunlight and that particular area the organisms or humans they are going to have a darker pigmentation of skin as compared to those organisms which are living near the equator okay but that doesn't mean that in a sunnier area or in a warmer area we are not going to get the light color skin okay that is why it has been mentioned that the existence of exceptional cases is also available so depending upon that we have to consider this rule because we can't like we can't use to eliminate the exceptional cases because still we can see that whether it is a warmer condition or colder condition might be in a colder condition you can able to see some organisms or some individual with a darker skin color and even in a warmer condition also you can able to see some organism with a very light pigmentation of skin so this exceptional cases is also applied in case of a humans because in sunnier area or the warmer area also you can able to see some of the individual with a very light skin color okay so that will be a exceptional case if we consider the glogger's rule 
in the last line it has been mentioned that is the color variation associated with the glogger's rule is mainly due to the differences in the melanin pigmentation so melanin are the most common pigment in bird and mammals especially in those birds and mammals which are living in a warmer area or the hot area so in the last paragraph there is a reason that why the organisms or individuals who are belonging from a warmer area they are going to have a dark pigmentation skin or dark pigmented skin because they are going to have a lots of melanin production in their body so in this way the melanin will going to help us in protecting our skin from the harmful sun rays or uv rays okay so in this case we can say that the cause behind this particular pigmentation is to protect against the more intense solar uv rays or it may be a high radiation of light which we are going to get from the sun okay and that is the main reason that why we are going to have a darker pigmentation skin because there is a higher production of melanin so that our body could overcome this high intensity of light which we are getting from the sunlight so in this way melanin is going to have a protective function in our body it will going to protect our body from the harmful sun rays mainly the like it is going to protect the dna damage okay so higher melanin production will be seen in those individuals who are living in a warmer climate or the hot climate so if we talk about the melanin so like when we are talking about the glogger rule so there is total of a two type of melanin which is going to play their role first is the u melanin and second is the pheo melanin so the organisms which are living in a drier condition or a hot condition in them there is a reduction in a u melanin but there is a like normal production of the pheo melanin and that will going to result in a brown color skin but if we talk about those individual or organisms which are living in a colder area or the polar region they are going to have the low amount of both the melanin that is the pheo melanin as well as the u melanin and that is the main reason that why they are going to have a low pigmented skin because there is a ve like very high reduction in the amount of u melanin as well as pheo melanin in those kind of people who are living in a polar region but the organism or people who are living in a warmer climate or the sunnier climate they are only going to have a pheo melanin and uh, there will be a reduced amount of u melanin but as because one melanin is already activated so that is going to provide the brown color skin and that is going to help in uh, help us to protect from the harmful sun rays so in the picture itself there is a representation of a different skin color and this is indicating the area from where these people are belonging but obviously some exceptional cases are also there in front of you there is a picture representation in which you can see the difference in pigmentation okay so the darker pigmentation owl it uh, like it is belonging from equator region and the low pigmented owl or the like light pigmented owl it is belonging from a polar region or the colder region again there is a one more example in front of you that is mainly the pigmentation in birds okay so the darker pigmented bird it is belonging from a equator region and the light color bird it is belonging from a polar region or the colder region so again we can able to apply the glogger's rule in this case also so in this way you are going to get so many examples regarding the glogger's rule mainly there will be a difference in pigmentation if we compare equator as well as polar region people birds or it may be a mammals